All right, guys, happy Wednesday. We got our big read today. It's about force and motion with Max Axiom. Get excited for that story. But before we get to it, we want to take a look at one more of our objectives. Yesterday, we talked about narrative nonfiction. We also talked about cause and effect. We've had reread plenty of times. So we're going to skip over that one today. We want to talk about context clues. What are context clues? When you're not sure what a word means, you can look at the other words around it. And I've been trying to model this in our stories this week to figure out its meaning. These other words called context clues may be definitions, examples, or restatements. And remember my definitions were the key word was is. This is something else. Okay, But you can also have examples or restatements of the word's meaning. So let's find some text evidence. When I read the fourth paragraph on page 66 of the big race, I'm not sure what the word force means. The phrase a push or pull defines what the force means. Claire continued, a force is, there's our key word there, is equals a push or a pull. Forces cause things to move or causes a change in motion. So not only did it give its definition, but afterwards it gave us some examples. In your packet today, you should have worksheet page 37. It's worksheet number five for the day when you're putting them back in order in the Wednesday folder with your complete name on it. All right, here comes our assignment. Read each sentence below, underline, I don't care if you circle them either, underline or circle the context clues in the sense that help you define each word in bold. Then, in your own words, write the definition of the word. So it's going to be in your own words, but you should be using the context clues to help you. Charlie walked over to the fire pole, comma, a metal pole which ran through a hole in the floor and connected the two levels of the firehouse. So the word is fire pole, and now we're trying to figure out what it is. Well, context clues, a metal pole ran through a hole in the floor and connected the two levels of the firehouse. We need almost all of that to help us divine what a fire pole is. So I'm going to put this fire pole here. Fire pole equals metal pole for sliding down. If you've ever seen a firefighter slide down the metal pole, of course I use some pass knowledge to help me on that one. Sliding down to get down stairs. Now in the old days most firehouses had the upstairs was where the rooms were. They'd have some beds up there, they'd have a kitchen up there. This is where the hot firehouses would hang out until the fire alarm goes. Well, all the fire trucks are going to be on the first floor so they can get out real quick. And so the firefighters, instead of running down the steps, would just jump on this pole, slide down the pole, and boom, get into the fire trucks as quickly and fast as they can to go fight fires. So I use the context clues to help come up with my definition. Your definition, your definition does not have to be the same as mine. All right, inertia means that an object at rest tends to stay at rest. Inertia. Means, that's like equals, object at rest stays at rest. All right. I thought we'd do this one because I thought it was kind of hard. We don't talk about inertia much, but we will in our main read for today. Inertia. Things not moving stay not moving. Now, I know the definition of this one is really things that are not moving stay not moving until acted on about upon an outside force. In other words, the book on my desk is never going to move, never going to move until I give it a little bit of a shove. Then it's going to move. And so inertia means it's not going to move until acted on by an outside force. All right, you have three left. Number three, four, and five. Force, speed, and gravity. Those things we'll be talking about in our big read today. On our second video, you can wait to fill us out till our big read. Otherwise, you can fill it out on your own. I will not have my sheet with us, so that's up to you about that one. When you've completed all three of those, then you may put it back into your folder. Wednesday, it should be the fifth sheet in there, so when your parents check it, it's nice and simple for them.